Hello and welcome back to Will It Work. Today we're going to take a look at the AlphaSmart line of word processors. The first one came out in 1993 and the company was founded by a couple of ex-Apple engineers, which should be obvious when you take a look at the keyboard layout. So these were primarily sold to schools as an inexpensive means for students to type in writing assignments. And they could save up to eight different assignments on eight different file keys up at the top. And then when they were done, they could go up to a Mac or an Apple II GS because the original models had ADB connectors on them, plug them in, fire up Claris Works or any other kind of text input software, and hit the send key and it would type the assignment in very quickly. Later they had a PS2 cable so that you could hook these up to PCs. And then in the year 2000, uh, the AlphaSmart 3000 came out, this model here, which was the first one with USB. So that problem kind of went away. And it has that translucent plastic that was very popular at the time because of the popularity of the iMac. So I was thinking, because this is USB, could we get the core features of this word processor to work with the iPhone? Would we be able to plug it in and send a large amount of text over very quickly? And then I also got to thinking, maybe with these file keys, we could kind of create a poor man's macro to control the iPhone. Because in iOS 13, Apple provided means to control the entire iPhone with a keyboard. And I thought maybe we can do something really cool with that. So we'll take a look at that as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plug it in here. And the keyboard goes away in the Pages app there. And as you can see, it says, attached to a Mac, emulating keyboard. I think this is really cool because even though this came out seven years before the iPhone and even more if you count the years until Apple supported USB keyboards on the iPhone, it still knows it's talking to an Apple product. If I plug this into any other device other than an Apple product, it says it's a PC keyboard. So obviously the PC is the default and then it only switches over to the Mac mapping if it detects uh, an Apple device on the USB bus. So as you can see, now that I'm plugged in here, I'm gonna move this up a little bit here. And we might get a little bit closer so we can see the text. But it's definitely working as a USB keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the send key here. And I've got a little monologue that Donald Pleasance gave in the original Halloween movie, which is one of my favorite films. It's about 57 words long, so you'll see how fast it takes to type in uh, 57 words. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the send button and let's see what happens. Yeah, works just fine. So that gives you an idea of how quickly it types in. Obviously, if you had a lot of pages, it's going to take a while. You might want to go watch a movie or make a cocktail while it's typing it in. But you could disappear and write the great American novel on this thing and then dump it right into your phone. The funny thing is, is these alpha smarts have become, they've got quite a cult following now among bloggers and authors for distraction-free writing. You know, they don't have internet on them, they don't have video games on them, they don't have social media on them. You can just get away from it all and type and then come back to your computer and dump it in. Now, you can just dump it into your iPhone. You don't even need a laptop or a desktop. And from pages, of course, uh, you can do just about anything, including export and convert to PDF. And if you already uh, have your account set up, you can actually publish your book immediately to Apple right from here. So. Type the great American novel on the Alpha Smart, dump the iPhone, and publish. Now, you probably wouldn't want to do that, but you could if you wanted to, I suppose. So that's it. The core functionality works fine. Let's take a look and see if we can get the file sending to act as a macro to control the phone. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So the first thing I want to show you is all the keyboard commands that you now have at your disposal in iOS 13. So if you go under General Accessibility, to keyboard, turn on full keyboard access, go under commands, you can see you have quite a bit available to you. What else is really cool is you can remap these keys to anything you want, which in the case of the AlphaSmart 3000 is very important because it can't record arrow keys, which is a big part of navigating the iOS with a keyboard. Fortunately, I can remap them to punctuation that's not commonly used like brackets and backslash and so forth. In fact, if you take a look at the code of the macro, it's really just a bunch of punctuation I'm going to send over. So what are we going to do? Well, let's get started here. 
I've brought my Palm PDA back out that I did a recent video on attaching it to the iPhone and it's back here connected under the files app it's plugged into a USB hub along with the Alpha Smart 3000 and what I'm going to do is run a macro which the iPhone will take a picture of the wall behind it which has a trading card of Green Lantern and then copy it down to the Palm and then we'll view the actual picture on the Palm device when we're done. So let's get started. I'm going to plug the Alpha Smart back in here. All right. Now, any of you that have ever done GUI scripting know that it's not fun to do and the results aren't always consistent. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm going to hit the send key now. Okay, it's saving to the palm, so we'll wait for that to finish. Okay. And let's take a look over here. Bring the palm up. And I will turn off the USB mass storage. We'll go into the Explorer app. There is the image file. All right, and there's the picture. We can uh, rotate it here and zoom in a little. But that was all automated with macros I sent from the Alpha Smart 3000 to the iPhone. So pretty neat. Got one other macro I can show you here. Let's try to reboot the iPhone. Here we go. Voila! When I first bought this I was just going to show off the file send features of the phone but that really wouldn't have been all that exciting so discovering how to use the macros and control the iPhone has kind of elevated this to a, hopefully a more interesting video than it otherwise would have been. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It does help out. I have several more coming in the future, but that's all for now. Take care.